So during the war years and before that, we all were farmerettes. And of course, they would bring in uh, girls from out of town, just like bringing the migrant workers now, right? So the guys would all go to the girls. And of course, we had the cadet guys, right? But come September, when we were going back to school, we'd all come together again because you knew you had to. Otherwise, you wouldn't have anybody to take you to the dances through the winter months. So, so we were like farmerettes, and we worked on all the farms in, in the country, like, you know, walkers and... and um, Fishers. Coopers. And back in those days, they needed people to do the, the farm work, right? Because all the young guys had gone off to war and everything. So you know, the farmers would just call and, you know, you would just go, right? And, that, and then I remember there near the end there, if, if they were still had crops in that, you could get off school for a while to help the farmers and everything. I never did that, but... Cause I, know, was, they I was kind of They gave us an extra two weeks, I think. Or something, wasn't it? To so, work on the farms. To work on the farms, like, huh? Because there was nobody else to do it. So you just had the kids of town to help the farmers out during those years, like, during the war years. So that was kind of exciting. <laughs> Now, mind you, you didn't get paid very much when you think about it. I remember we wanted a raise, and it was only a nickel. But that, I forget what that was now, what we were getting paid, but not much. And the farmer just about had a fit, you know. So we all said, we had this one girl, she was much braver than I was, right? I was always behind the scenes pushing people. But anyway, so, so she said, we'll quit. Well, quite if you don't give it to us, right? So we had to give us this nickel, more, more raise. But we didn't make big money, but it was enough to, you know, to go to the, you know, to buy a sweater or go to the movies or <clears throat> have a banana split in those days. But yeah, so yeah. Well, I was only 15, I think, when the war ended. Which was a good thing. Otherwise, we would have lost then, all you guys. And then I ended up playing ball with the guys who'd come back from the war, and I was only 15 years old. Oh, well, it would have been. I, I don't know, intermediate ball, I guess, would you probably know what you would call it. And all the all the guys come back, the Legion guys, and we we had a team we had another team that I played on for a couple of years and then, but we were playing against these guys that came back. And yeah, there wasn't anybody around other than the kids, all the young all the young men who were gone. They were, yeah, because I, I remember my brother, they, him and a few of his friends, they wanted to sign up ahead of time before they, I think you had to be 18 or something, and they sent them all home. But I remember when he did turn 18 that, that year, they all went off. But um, fortunately, the war ended and he didn't get out of Canada, so which was, but we did lose a lot of Niagara Lake guys, yeah, and pilots and mostly pilots and, and foot soldiers. I don't think too many Navy ones we lost, but mm. it seemed like a lot of pilots and, and uh, Army guys, yeah. Mm. And some families were pretty well hit, like maybe even losing a couple of the same family, yeah. Mm. 